interested to know Professor Buckley's view on cardiac rehab for ARVC patients. Is exercise safe for these people? Tough question. First thing is, what do we define as exercise? ARVC is arrhythmogenic right ventricular cardiomyopathy. I even had to just review that in my mind. Um, Dr. Contractor might want to comment, but I, I can't give a blanket uh, recommendation on a question like that. It needs careful evaluation. But when we talk about exercise, what do people mean by this? And we have light intensity exercise, moderate intensity exercise, high intensity exercise. Depending on who you are and what you need to do, you can gain benefits from being active in any one of those zones. And we have to just um, have to design the program to what's both safe and beneficial to the, to the patient, to the client. And if we can monitor people, we can determine at what level they're gonna be safe. And we just, we can only push people to the limit of safety. Um, and lots of watches give you zones to work on, but they're not, they're not specific to that person. They're specific to a population. And so when it says one size fits all, it means it doesn't actually fit anybody. So, um, you know, light intensity to light intensity activity to Paula Radcliffe is high intensity exercise to me. Um, she can do a light workout at six minutes a mile. That's her warm up. Um, and I was happy to run a half marathon at the age of 30 at that pace. Um, and she would have been going around twice as quick almost. So I think we need to be careful of how we define what exercise is for each individual. Ashish, do you want to, to add anything to that? Yeah, I just, you know, ARVC potentially, uh, potentially could be uh, something which, is, which, which needs serious evaluation. So I think he must meet with his doctor, preferably a sports cardiologist who understands it. And then based on the patterns of his um, ECG, he can be given exercise advice. It would be difficult to give a advice over a webinar like this.